welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing. Uh, a little late and overdue, um, but uh, today, while I was at work, my August 2019 uh, Mystery Tackle Box Elite Edition came in the mail. Uh, excuse the clutter and the uh, dissemblance. Uh, we're in the midst of renovating this room, uh, making it a little bit more nautical in theme. So uh, it's kind of a, a mess, but <laughs> it'll get there. It'll get there one step at a time. Uh, so anyway, this stopped on my uh, doorstep today, and uh, I came back home, took the wife to her to her job, and figured I'd sit down and uh, bust into the Elite Edition uh, with the rest of you hookaholics out there and uh, see what we got for this week's MTB. Now I need a utensil to open this box with. I don't know what's in it. I've seen some of the uh, Pro Boxes that have been released. This, is, of course, is the Elite Box not the pro, but uh, typically they, you know, a lot of the pro uh, tackle will be found in the elite, elite box. But hopefully I have a little bit of extra bonus items in here that uh, are worth the extra, extra expenditure. I'm also waiting on my Angler's Hall box. Um, they're a little bit lackadaisical and slow this, uh, this month. Uh, I understood July had the 4th of July in it, uh, Independence Day, so I gave them why that was late, but uh, I wish they would speed up their uh, their shipment production. However, this month it's going to come in two separate packages. So if you liked my Angler's Hall inaugural uh, video, I suggest you stay, stay tuned, click the like and the subscribe to this video, get that bell notification so that when I post the video for this month's uh, Angler's Hall and the two packages that come, you can see what uh, Angler's Hall brings to the table as opposed to uh, Mystery Tackle Box and the, the other tackle supply companies. As always, Mystery Tackle Box has their ruler, um, you know, your, your win prizes. If you catch a pic, uh, take a picture of a trout or a bass or a walleye or whatever other species of fish and it meets the requirements, their, their minimals that they have, uh, you post it on social media um, with uh, the hashtag uh, MTV Keeper and you can win prizes, uh, baits, whatever. Um, let's see. Well, this is interesting. We get ourselves uh, the 2019 Carl's Catalog. Uh, so this is something new they just put out uh, this month. Uh, gives you a way to shop shop Carl's and see different uh, Catchco company products that they uh, that they send. The Carl's crack. Uh, well, you got the Guggen baits in here with the uh, Crack and Craw and other things. And of course, you've got uh, yeah, there's a lot of Guggen Squad stuff in this catalog. And Biospawn, also, which is a Catchco MTB brand. Uh, Carl's Amazing Baits, obviously. Um, they got some lures and some, or excuse me, some uh, some rods and reels from Shimano. Uh, One Three Fishing, Dobbins Reels, or Dobbins Rods, I should say. And of course, some koozies and stuff. So that's kind of cool. If you if you want to, you know, a brief little catalog, uh, things you might want to pick up uh, at the Shop Carl's site. We've got our. Uh, what's in the box with the add-ons card every month. If you want, you can go to Shop Carl's, add items, and have it shipped in your monthly subscription box so it saves you the cost of separately packaging these items and shipping them and having to pay the shipping cost on the items. So that's always good. Um, we have 10 items in our, in our card this month. So there's 10 products for this month's MTB, which is kind of cool. Normally I see like six or eight, so it's nice to know that I've got a bunch. Uh, there's some moderately priced things and one, one or two actually good priced things. And something I see number two that I wasn't expecting. That's uh, okay, we'll see. All right. Obviously, we get your Dibbles Digest with hints, tips, and tricks and a word search on the back. Uh, they went to the bait or the what's in the box cards rather than having it printed on this. And our sticker, which I'm happy to have, the Shut Up and Fish sticker. That's a, that's a cool sticker. I'm starting a little sticker collection montage up there uh, so that all my stickers from MTB can be displayed. And uh, we'll jump into the box because it's already been too much talking and not enough uh, showing. So first off for August 19th, uh, MTB Elite Edition, you have the Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad. This is a Catch Co got together with, uh, with Buka, 
who created the original Bullshad, which is a larger profile. This is the smaller profile, uh, more cheaply constructed, obviously, to save cost so that it can be put into a, a Carl's box. But, nevertheless, it might have a slight design change for, for a cost in production. It'll, it still has that same action and that same fish catching powerhouse bait that it is. So this is the baby bull shad. It's a three point or three and three quarter inch. Um, let's see what the weight of this is. What does it say? It's got to say. It's, it's not very heavy. Uh, three three quarters, size six hooks. It's a half ounce bait, and it's a four part jointed swim bait, four segments. And what I do like is it's got the uh, boar's hair bristle, like a paintbrush style um, tail. Rather than a solid plastic or a soft plastic uh, tail, it has similar to a, a paintbrush, you know, your oil-based paintbrush. So that gives a lot more textural, um, you know, quality when, when a fish comes up and strikes it. It's going to feel like an actual fish. Um, also, it gives the durability. Uh, you know, a soft plastic will get caught, nipped, chipped. This might get caught on something. One hair might pull out, but you'll still have the majority of it. It's not going to necessarily uh, take a big chunk in one go. So I like that. And it's got great action. These, these, uh, the bull shad, the original bull shad, had one of those great qualities as a, as a swim bait of being able to do that turnaround, that 360, um, you know, where you actually uh, uh, can get it to spin on its own self and give you that that give the fish that's following it that appearance that, oh, he noticed he turns around to defend and then gets, gets, uh, gets taken. So that's an awesome bait. I'm very happy to get that. That's something I was looking forward to. Uh, they got the Baby Bull Shad at $14.99. And I think it's worth every penny. Number two, this I wasn't expecting. Um, River to Seas Double Popper. So this is the Whopper Plopper, um, like semi-Alabama rig kind of thing going on. Uh, they have this listed at $12.98. It is a floating buzz style bait. So it's basically the dual whopper plopper um, tails like you would get the, you can buy the separate whopper plopper trailers you can put on things. This is basically those on the wire harness with a, uh, with a nice little lightweight head because it's a floating uh, thing. Good skirt, bluegill pattern, blue and white. Um, pretty stout hook. It's a good hook. And, uh, yeah. Not bad. Double plopper. I'm not one to actually throw this on. I mean, I'm going to give it a shot in open water, but, um, I don't know. I've, the double plopper, I'd rather just throw an actual whopper plopper single, uh, single bait. Um, I don't know. Plus, you know, you're going to have to put a soft plastic trailer on this to add a little bit more bulk. Uh, so... We'll see. I'll definitely use it. I'll see what happens. Uh, they want $12.98 for that. I'm glad that I got it in the box because this uh, is something that I probably wouldn't go out on my own on any given day and uh, head to the head to the uh, fish and tackle shop and pick up just out of happenstance. So it gives me a chance to try it out because otherwise I'd probably be too lazy or just not interested in purchasing it myself. So that's cool. So third on the list. The Booyah Hard Knocker. So this is Booyah Baits Hard Knocker. It's the lipless crankbait rattle trap. Um, they've got it in, this is the, uh, what is it? Fabrique in China. Made in China. Fabricated in China. This is the Tiger Pattern. Hard Knocker Tiger Pattern. So it's there. It's just typical rattle trap. Up. Oh. Bad rattles in it, you know, a bunch of little BBs. Booyah baits, great bait. Um, definitely happy to see that. I like any crawl patterns, this fire tiger kind of patterns. This is a pretty good, pretty good color with that red and yellow. So that's always good. They want uh, $6.99 for that. So that's a pretty good value too. I mean, basic rattle traps are in the five, four, five, six dollar uh, range. So that's okay. Um, Carl's Amazing Baits, the Runt. So, we got a Carl's bait with the runt. This is another very good bait. A lot of people have had success on these. A lot of people have already had these in their past boxes. 
Um, they do catch fish quite a bit. It's got an awesome feathered treble on it. Make these things impossible to open. So, this is that nice striped blue purple pattern on the back. And then you've got the gold striations coming down. Nice little feather treble. Small hooks, you might want to um, think about changing them out to a little bit larger, uh, larger size hook for the front. Uh, you probably can just get away with this, but uh, you want a little more substantial hookup if, if you do get a fish to bite. It's a small profile, so I can see this catching, you know, moderate sized fish. Uh, you might want to, you know, size up to a larger bait if you're going for big monsters, which I don't really have to worry about going for around, around here. So, the Carl's Runt is uh, $6.99 also. So that's a pretty good thing. The pattern they call this, or the color they have for this, is uh, chartreuse gill. So it's the blue gill pattern with that blue and yellow. It has a slight orange hue under the lip of the bait. It's not very pronounced. It's a more subtle, subtle uh, orange under the chin. So that's pretty nice. All right, moving right along. Next on my list is uh, V and M's baits. Pacemaker series jig. VM. VM. VM's pacemaker. So designed in 2013 by Bassmaster Class and Classics champ Cliff Pace. Uh, this is a 5 8 ounce. Flat bottom jig. So I'll set that right there. So Typical, well, you got your green pumpkin colors, you know, a little bit of hue of, of a, like an orange in there in the uh, rubber skirting. It's got a rattle in it, a little rattle, not much of a rattle, very slight, very, very quiet, finesse style. Um, good weed guard, good brush weed guard, there's a little rattle right there. Good stout hook. Three odd size, I'd say. Um, nice, nice. I have to clean out the eyelet a little bit. I always do that. I always have to clean out the eyelets. That's why I use that multi tool that I gave away. Um, <clears throat> good, good size. Again, it's a five eight, so it's a it's a nice substantial weight. Uh, good for uh, good for flipping and things, and probably really good around this time of color. I like the glitter on it too. It's got a lot of gr green. Uh, green flake glitter to it, so that adds a lot of flash under the water. And it's a nice long skirt with good bulk profile. You could probably just fish this as is, or you could throw, you know, like a, with this kind, with this flat bottom, this is one of those um, jig heads where I'd actually run the wacky worm style, just run my worm off the tail end. That'll add a little flash, maybe a nice little uh, three inch, or a, maybe cut down to like two, two and a half inch uh, worm nice finesse worm, and uh, and run the Senko that way. That'll add a lot more bulk and water displacement. But I think this uh, this alone could catch could catch good fish. So that's actually good too. Um, VNM Baits Pacemaker Series Jig. Uh, they want five dollars thirty nine cents for that. That's a decent decent price. That's not bad at all. Uh, Game Changer Lures, heavy hammer hooks. Game Changer Lures. Heavy hammer hooks. Oh, there we go. Hiding back there. So we got some 5 aught, uh new, wreck them. 5 aught offset worm hooks. So this is, again, this is a, I think Game Changer is a Carl's Catch Co. company. Or subsidiary thereof. Let's see. So some good stout 5 aught hooks. Definitely strong enough to catch a nice 8 or 10 pound bass without bending out. So, that's good. Good, and this is a, uh, what do you got, 5 in here? 4. So you got a 4 pack of hooks, that's not bad at all. Nice packaging, I like these fold over envelopes, easy to get to, and the plastic keeps them dry so you don't have uh, rust issues. Um, yeah, 4 pack, 5 watts. Catch Co. Yep. So Game Changer is also a, a Catch Co subsidiary. 
Uh, the game the game changers heavy hammer hooks are four dollars and ninety nine cents. So that's uh, you know a dollar twenty five a piece. That's uh, eh. whatever. <laughs> uh, River to Sea John Murray Papa Mur jig. So this is a Papa Mur jig by John Murray, and it's a River to Sea product. Now this nice little football head jig. It's a 5 8 ounce, 17.5 uh, gram. It comes into the color of brown purple. And as I just spike myself in the middle finger through the bag, I don't have a hell of a time trying to get out of that. All right. So you got purple and brown. There's a lot of tubular rubber skirting material. So actually, you know what? This is square. It's a box skirt, so it's flat on four sides, but it's very small. Uh, smoother, less uh, less strong, less um, stout brush guard than the other jig, but it's a nice football head jig at, again, 5 8 ounce. Good sturdy, <coughs> sturdy hook. Obviously, River to Sea products are good, and, uh, uh, you know, you can count on them. Like the Whopper Plopper, they catch. Oh, the... the yeah, paint seems good. Knocking this around, rock, uh, rip wrap, definitely is a, a good thing. Around a, uh, a dock or so, some nice, nice wood piles, this would work well. I can assure you. And I like that. You can do, um, do like a PB&J style trailer on this with these purple flash. And of course, I get a phone call. No one know her. Oh, don't care. Pardon moi. <laughs> life. So, uh, they want for the, uh, for the Murr jig, $4.99. Three more items left on in this box. Big Bite Baits Trick Sticks. So these are going to be basically your Senkos. These are a bullfrog color, which is basically like a watermelon, chartreuse kind of yellow, uh, black pepper flake. Oh, I open it this way. Not bad. Good wacky rig deal. It's got the cutouts for the for the hook. Lots of salt. Salt impregnated. It's coming off of my fingers. It's good. Good little Senko. Standard Senko. Uh, these are, uh, what are these? 5 inch, 5 inch. Yep. Typical Senko. Nothing special. The trick sticks, $4.49. Excite Baits Raptor Tail Chunks. So these, a small little three pack. Yeah, it's a three pack of baits. So it's, you know, a teaser. Um, basic crawl package. This is a uh, rotten pumpkin, they call it, which I'm pretty sure is probably going to be like a brownish root beer, black color with green pumpkin and maybe a little red flake. What do we got? We got, uh, yeah, it's like black, a black and red flake with the green pumpkin. They call it rotten pumpkin. So it's just a craw trailer, a little chunk trailer. Good paddles. Would work well on, uh, probably on that, on that first jig. That would go really nicely with this jig right here. And that red flake is going to pop quite nicely, cutting through the water. So you'll see that flashing through. That's a good uh, a good combo. As always, the, the great thing about Mystery Tackle Box is when you get a terminal tackle, typically alongside of that you'll find some soft plastic or some weight set or something else that goes uh, you know along with that to make it a, a total package. The uh, Raptor Tail Chunks are $2.50 for this little uh, teaser pack. I wished it was cheaper for three or give me you know five for for three bucks instead of three for 250 but it is what it is and finally big bite baits the smallie smasher which are these little finesse paddle tail or I shouldn't say paddle tail I should say a beaver tail style uh, soft plastics so these are awesome drop shot baits they're flat side, they're, so they're, they're, you know, standard flat pour, um, flat top, and then they've got the ribs for water displacement on the back end. 
flat on the top here little paddle flat beaver tail which is also ribbed for a little bit more water displacement and uh, action so they want a dollar sixty six for this this also is a small pack of five three four, five yeah it's a five pack so that's not bad at least you get five of them so you get five of these for a dollar sixty six but you only get three of the of the uh, Excite Baits Raptors for two dollars and fifty cents yeah um, these will be interesting. I like this. I got, I got from my um, from my angler's haul box. They supplied a, ra a reel, so I got a one three fishings reel. And keeping it all things simple, I went to the store and I picked up a one three fishing rod to go with it. So I've decided to dedicate that as my uh, like my drop shot wacky kind of uh, spinning reel. Uh, combo setup. So I put on the Guggen Baits um, uh, fluorocarbon on that. So we'll see how that works. And I'm looking forward to getting out on the water more with it, and uh, you know, getting some drop shot footage in and some some wacky rig stuff. And you'll certainly see me very shortly out on the water with uh, with these and that rod and reel combo. So. Uh, not a bad box. I'm going to say, you know, I've got, what, five, let's see, one, two, three, three soft plastics, two jigs, two hard bait, you know, lipless crank and a lipped crank. I've got a top water in the form of the double plopper, and, of course, a swim bait in the form of this jointed Mike Buka. Now, the Buka is alone between the Buka and these two jigs. Um... You know, that, that makes the box for me. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, the River to Sea Double Plopper was a bonus. I wasn't expecting that. That's actually kind of cool. And, uh, and of course, the soft plastics are always welcome. So, uh, you tell me in the comments. What do you think? Um, do you think I got value for this? I mean, I did get a lot of items. I'm actually very, very, very pleased. Um, again, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 items. 10 items. Highest priced item being $14.99, cheapest item uh, being those little finesse drop shot style uh, little worms or, or, you know, they could almost be um, like a leech bait um, for $1.66. So that's actually pretty cool. And I like the color, that blue with the red, fl red flake and green pumpkin on one side uh, gives that little copper color tone because the blue on the back kind of tricks that, that red into adding a little purple hue. Um, so that's actually really cool. It's like a, a green pumpkin copper flake and then uh, a blue tone on the other side. So I like that. All right. This has been a short, uh, well, not really short, but uh, <laughs> foul mouth fishing thing. Um, slowly but surely building up this room, making it a little more presentable. And I'm looking forward to uh, unboxing the uh, Angler's Hall box for August the 2nd ever box. And like I said, or I should say two boxes because it's coming in two packages because Angler's Hall is a way different setup for subscription, uh, mail order, tackle, and, uh, and equipment as opposed to, you know, MTB, LTB, uh, MB, and uh, Bait Crate, and, and, and uh, you know, all those other great, great uh, tackle companies. So, tight lines. God bless. I hope this has been entertaining. Uh, I hope, obviously, there's some things in this box that you won't see in any of the other boxes uh, because I, I get a slightly different package. But uh, I look forward to other people posting their elite box openings and see what they had that I didn't have. Uh, again, God bless. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. I'm getting closer and closer uh, to getting that 500 subscriber number where I have the big giveaway with the one-of-a-kind custom Whopper Plopper uh, bait. Uh, with the foul mouth fishing logo uh, hand painted on it from Martise Lures. Um, I also have uh, the gift card to add to that for the person to go to lunch or whatever they want to do. And then, of course, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a big giveaway then. Uh, I, I enjoy seeing more and more people get out and enjoy the sport and the recreation and the passion and the relaxation of, of fishing and uh, supporting the environment in doing so because it, it makes you get attuned to nature. So I hope. You enjoy, have fun, and I'll see you, catch you on the next cast. So, found my fishing.